What's going on guys? I'm getting a lot of questions lately about permits so I wanted to answer some of the most common questions I get. So first of all, do you need a permit? And I'm going to speak to our area here. So the rule of thumb is if you're adding something new or moving something that's already there, then you need a permit. And then of course structural things and major additions always need permits. But uh, if you're adding something new or moving something that's there. So if you're just doing a bathroom renovation and replacing what's there but you're not moving it, you don't technically really need a permit. All right, the second question I get often is, are they a waste of money? Uh, I don't think so at all. What you get with a permit is not only drawings, because you had to submit drawings to get the permit, uh, you get it documented with the city and registered with the city that you're doing them, and then you also get an inspector that comes by at several points during the construction and checks to make sure everything is being done according to the codes. Uh, and then a final approval that it was all done correctly, which also gets documented and registered. So I don't think it's a waste of money. I think it's a great um, benefit for the for the homeowners. And uh, uh, the price is also uh, quite uh, fair for what you get, I think. Which leads into the next question is how much are they? Well, that really depends on the project. Smaller projects typically are much smaller permit fees and large projects are larger permit fees because obviously the people at the city have to review much more details and things like that. So um, the drawings themselves obviously are going to cost a bit more as well for larger projects. Typically the cost of the permit fees is quite small compared to the overall project so I do think the price is quite fair. So another question I often get is, is this going to create more additional costs for my project uh, getting a permit? And I guess the answer is that depends. Did you want to do it according to the codes or not? Because all they're really going to do is make sure that it was done according to codes. So um, if you're willing to do things below codes, then I guess maybe you can save some money. But uh, it shouldn't really add that much more costs. Maybe a little bit of delay potentially when you're waiting on an inspection here and there. But overall costs shouldn't really add anything. No. So in conclusion, I'm a big fan of permits. I think it protects the customers. It helps us stay on the ball and make sure everything's done correctly. And uh, it's really not a big overall cost, so I say get a permit if you can.